Welcome to this edition of Dirt Road Reset. My name is Chad and Happy New Year to everybody. Since our last video, Christmas has come and gone and look what Santa brought me. That's right, we got the Kodiak Duck Canvas Truck Bed Tent. I'm gonna give you a whole tour of that and the pros and cons as opposed to the Napier. And there's quite a few of them, pros and cons. Liam's with me. It got down into the uh, the low 20s last night, so despite this looking like a, a summer paradise, it's pretty stinking cold, which is why we're not up in the higher elevations. The snow level got down to about 3,500 feet last night. So, yeah, it just wasn't. I could have done it, but having Liam with me, it wasn't going to work. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Look who decided to join us. What's going on, everyone? Mr. Allen. A little mango. Allen's going to be For real. Yeah, Allen's going to be camping in the back of his Jeep tonight just because it's an overnight trip. And he's got this really cool diesel heater mounted on the top here. There's a common theme right now. There's one thing that every single one of us has, and that's Alan, me, and Felicia. We all have, our, we're using the exact same stove. And each one of us has the different colors. So Alan's got the blue, mine's the uh, coyote brown or coyote tan, and Felicia's over there is the uh, the gray one. But these things are great. Um, they're nice because you can use these uh, butane uh, canisters. But you can also, they come with, at least mine did, I'm pretty sure they all do, they come with an adapter that you can use the uh, big green propane bottles with them also. And they store really nice. Let's go see what this little guy's up to. Hey, what you doing? Hey. Did you catch any big fish yet? No. Alicia was saying that Alan looks like somebody familiar some other uh well-known did you say he looks like a british actor that you know of no like how many british allens do you know one but you think and you know he two. might be the one that I he know. might be the one anyway leave in the comments down below if alan looks like somebody familiar i'm curious because she says he does anyways we are um at uh shoreline camping doing a quick overnight trip and just north of the Phoenix metropolitan area, a place called Bartlett Lake. And we were, I was just here back uh, a few videos back uh, over the summer. And Liam and I have been here uh, a couple Thanksgivings ago. And every time I come here, I always tell you guys, well, I'm not gonna ever come back. This isn't my favorite place. But I always wind up coming back because it, it serves a purpose, right? It's, it's quick, it's a quick drive from where we live and despite there being a lot of people it's a different type of camping experience. Right? That's Liam behind me creating all the ruckus on his brand new 110cc quad. He got that for Christmas. Upgrade from the electric dirt bike. He still has that, but this keeps him really busy. Is he is he annoying us yet with it? No. By the way, this is Felicia. She's on Instagram. She's a major hit on Instagram over there. Tons and tons of followers. Um, and that's what all the cool people are doing. So head on over there right after this video or pause this video and Go hit her up. The link is right here. Her Instagram handle for everybody is Heathen I actually think it is heathen gypsy. Heathen dot gypsy. Heathen dot gypsy. I thought there was a gypsy thing in there. Yeah, wandering heathen, heathen gypsy. We'll find it. I'll, I'll put it down in the description down below and uh, in some fancy text. Anyway, yeah, Felicia, we've been talking for a couple months about, you know, she does a lot of her, uh, she chronicles a lot of her adventures. I think we should just roll with it. Hey. You know? I mean, it's real, it's, it's raw, raw, so you guys can see exactly what the uh, what it's like camping with a six-year-old uh, we got the the Kodiak uh, duck canvas truck bed tent on its maiden camping voyage and it does have some pros and cons 
Uh, Felicia here is using the Napier back road, same tent that I've featured in many of my numerous videos. Many of my numerous videos, that was a double. Anyways, the same tent. And you guys know I love that tent. Um, I got a lot of good use out of it. I'm actually going to be getting another one. So spoiler alert, there are things about that tent that I really do like a lot better than I do the Kodiak. First and foremost, the biggest thing about the Kodiak is the setup time. It is just, I mean, it takes... Now, I, I should preface that by saying when you're new to putting it up, it's going to take longer. And just like anything else, the more you do it, the, the quicker it will become. The biggest disadvantage with this tent is that it does not have a full tub design like the Napier does, and I miss that um, because I can't, you can't, it doesn't fully seal completely, in, you know, around the truck. Uh, it's also a heavier fabric, that's a pro and a con, so it, it kind of fits, it fits a little loose. Uh, but once you're inside, it's very roomy, it's a lot, there's a lot more headroom in this. It looks like a covered wagon off the Oregon Trail. Uh, and again, because it's canvas, it's durability-wise and material-wise, it blows the napier out of the water. Uh, it'll probably last even longer than I'm alive. It also holds in heat exponentially long, oh, better. I mean, just, it, that thing was toasty warm. It got down to 27 degrees here last night, and as you saw in the previous clip there, it stayed at about a, step, a steady 70, between 70 and 75 in there all night with the diesel heater. With the diesel heater running in my Napier, um, it stayed warm too, but it didn't retain the heat as well as this one. <coughs> Where I could turn the diesel heater on here in this and run it for about an hour and then turn it off and not have to turn it back on for another few hours. In the Napier, I pretty much had to have it running on a low setting constantly. Uh, this tent, my primary purpose for it will be cold weather solo camping. I've got two cots in there right now. Uh, with Liam and I and it's just too cramped. Um, I miss truck bed camping uh, with just a single cot. There's more room, it, it's more versatile for me. Uh, this tent will only probably be used for extreme cold weather camping and when it's just me. Uh, other than that, the Napier is the way to go. I can set that thing up in seven minutes flat and it's proven to me to be a, a, a durable tent. I mean, I got 300 uses out of that, that Napier that I had, so. Yeah, Ellen looks like she's having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I think it loves camping. <laughs> right. So here is the inside of the Kodiak canvas truck bed tent. Now we've got the, um, the version here that fits bed sizes six foot to five and a half foot. However, when you have your tailgate down, uh, that five and a half bed, foot bed turns into something much larger. Compared to the Napier, it is much roomier, okay? Especially in the, uh, the head space. But overall, it just, it feels more open. And yes, there's no full tub in it, but it, it makes do. I mean, it, it's, it, it's really warm in here despite that. As you can see right now, it is 
38 degrees outside and 76 in here. So almost a 40 degree difference thanks to the uh, diesel heater coming in. That canvas though is very breathable. However, completely water uh, waterproof and does a phenomenal job. Um, it does feature a vent right here. I have that closed right now because we're trying to get as much heat coming in. Also, you have a window right here, and you have a window right here. That's the remote to the diesel heater. There is a, another vent right there. That uh, will go through to a reach-through uh, reach uh, sliding glass rear window, if you got one of those. Behind this is a mesh zipper. Really strong YKK zippers. <laughs> I want to show you this um, full disclaimer the company did send this to me uh, so I did not pay for it but I honestly do believe this is the best of its kind out on the market right now especially for what people like you and I do with uh, tent camping or truck camping or RVing even boating and that is the Diatau carbon monoxide detector uh, for years, I've used just a regular over-the-counter um, carbon monoxide detector, I believe, by First Alert. The same type that you put in your home, and it takes a 9-volt battery. You take that around with you, and that works. Um, it's better than nothing. However, it's not great at withstanding the elements of high humidity, condensation, being stored in a uh, camping box for long periods of time, this, that's not a worry. It's completely water resistant, dust resistant, shock proof to an unbelievable range. Uh, it's got a rubberized coating on it. Uh, it's just, it's meant for the outdoor enthusiast. Uh, it'll measure zero to 1000 parts per million when it comes to uh, CO2 carbon monoxide. It has a very loud, annoying alarm that lights up tells you how many parts per million it's currently reading right now and it even has a vibration function on it um, but this thing is awesome in that the, the biggest thing is that it's it's water resistant right and that it's shock proof so I could this will take a beating and works perfectly for using inside the tent I will have a link to this in the description below as well again the Diatau I think that's how you say it Deatau SA-103 CO2 carbon monoxide detector. Get yours today. And he said he wasn't asleep. Are you still not sleeping? Yeah, he needs to sleep. how far up the water is. Oh. Back in the trucks in the water. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, man, yeah. Whoops. All of us. Everybody down the shoreline is half in the water. Front camping property.
favorite part of the trip? Uh, riding my ATV. Riding your ATV. That's kind of cool when we woke up this morning and the water had gone up, huh? Uh, I didn't think it was very cool. You didn't like it that much? Yeah, it's kind of making packing up a little bit of a challenge, but it wouldn't be a, uh, it wouldn't be a, a camping trip if we didn't have some sort of natural element to uh, play a hand in. No, it would be a camping trip. Yeah, no, it was a good camping trip, for sure. But it would be a camping trip if there was only you and I, because it's special when it's only you and I. It's right? special when it's just you and I. Well, folks, that'll wrap up this trip. It was a short video, but uh, I wanted to make sure we got something out there. Next weekend, I will be uh, at another lake doing some uh, with the Ham Radio Club. What so you'll see some old familiar faces on that video. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah, you know, if you're ever in the Arizona area, hit us up by email, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, and, uh, and come join us sometime. That's how we've met some of our best friends here on the channel. Scott, Alan, Felicia, Keith, <coughs> all started out just by watching the videos and, yeah, uh, and dropping us a note. Can I come? With the lake one? You can come whenever you want, buddy. Whatever you want. So, like, when you go on the lake one, I can come? Yep. Can Listen, come? if you or someone you know is suffering from anything that is racking the mind, that could be stress, anxiety, PTSD, addiction, bipolar, postpartum, you name it, the list goes on and on. First and foremost, let's break that stigma. Secondly, Get the help you need. Get the professional help you need, but also get outdoors and find your dirt road to reset. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. I think you can say it better than that. Bye. I'll give you a tour of the inside of the tent right now, but not really right now. Wagon. Wagon. I feel like you need to put some like okay, some Dixie chicks. Cheesier. <laughs> some like little house on the prairie. Yeah. Maybe get some like four decals for the doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. So many people, but you know, there's a time and a place for that for everything, right? You know, and we wanted to do a quick trip, and I'm looking at the GoPro right now, and I see the microphone is not plugged in. <sighs> 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 Take two. <laughs>